Okay, I'm here with uh, James Henderson, and uh, James, can you tell me what your uh, job title is, please? Yeah, I'm Director of Policy, Partnership and Research at the City Council. Fantastic. And this morning, I'm just going to ask you a few questions about the Joint Strategic Needs Assessment, the JSNA. So, just to start, James, can you just tell me what exactly the JSNA is? Well, the Joint Strategic Needs Assessment is the means by which we assess the health and well-being needs of the city and its population. And it's a really important tool in helping the city to understand the key issues that need to inform the health and well-being strategy and make sure that we are commissioning, planning the right services for the city at the moment, understanding what people need, the health, the health needs of, 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 of different communities and making sure that really feeds through into the, into the services that we provide. That's brilliant. And why do you think that developing a JSNA is so important for Sheffield? Well, I think there's, there's two reasons, really. The first of which is that we're actually required to do it by law, so it's a, it's a statutory um, document that we've got to produce. But the second and more important reason is that if we don't have that really good understanding of what the evidence is telling us, what local people think, um, what all the research and analysis um, that we have about health and well-being in the city, if we're not using that to actually inform um, the, the strategic decisions that we're making, we're going to end up commissioning the wrong services in the wrong way that don't meet people's needs um, and the, uh, the things that they need to improve their health and well-being in their daily lives. I think that, that's really interesting. Just picking up on something you said then, um, you, we are listening to a lot more sort of anecdotal evidence, aren't we, in this process? Is that right? That's right, yeah. Um, in the past, uh, Joint Strategic Needs Assessment have been very... Um, dependent on looking at uh, statistics and data and um, hard evidence of, of that sort. And that is really important that we, uh, that, we, that, that we do continue to take that into account. But what we also recognised was that there were potentially gaps in our, in our knowledge and in our understanding and that we didn't really have a good sense of, of what local people thought, of what community organisations that were um, uh, really close to, to different communities and different groups of people, particularly the most vulnerable and disadvantaged people in our city. We didn't have a really good understanding of, 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 of their views and their experiences of, of, of health and well-being in the city. So what we wanted to do is to make sure that um, that voice evidence is brought together with the hard statistics and data to give us a much richer picture than we would otherwise have had. And that's brilliant. And what, what approach have uh, the council actually taken to, in terms of gathering that evidence, in terms of developing the anecdotal evidence we've talked about? Well, we've, we've taken very much a partnership approach. So what we've done is we, we have a, um, a working group that's uh, composed of people from across the council, the NHS and the voluntary sector to make sure that, uh, that, that we're looking at all of this stuff from the round. What we're doing, or what we have done, I should say, is, is bring um, a position statement to the Health and Wellbeing Board, which sets out that hard evidence that I was talking about earlier. Um, but we are now in the process of running a series of events, um, which we're hoping that as many people as possible in the city will get to, um, to uh, gather that, uh, that voice evidence um, uh, in a much more... Uh, strategic way than we than we have done in the in, in the past and um, really making sure that um, people have an opportunity to comment and give their give their views on a whole range of issues based around the main criteria or main uh, principles that are in the health and well-being strategy that was published last summer and basically what we'll do once that process has finished once we've held all of those events is to collate all of that information bring it all together into a report and that will help to inform the next iteration of the health and wellbeing strategy and help to inform some of those commissioning plans that I was talking about earlier. That's brilliant. And so in terms of all that, where, where are we up to at the moment like along that process? Well, we're currently part of the way through, the, through that series of events. So we've had three events so far. We've got one more to go in a couple of weeks' time. Um, and uh, we are in the process of... Um, pulling together reports for each of those events, collating all of that information and then presenting it back to the, to the Health and Wellbeing Board who are going to make, make all the decisions on this stuff. 
So in terms of the next steps, it is, it's pulling all that together and taking it to the board, is, it? is that the next step in the process? That's, that's the next main step in the process. The other things that we're doing are um, pulling together a much stronger web presence than we've had in the past, and also um, uh, having what we're calling a data repository, which is basically um, an area on the web where people can go and find out about all of the detailed information that we might not be able to include in, in some of the reports, so that we've got all of that information that's available and accessible to the decision makers in the city. And that's something that we haven't had before in Sheffield, and uh, it's quite an exciting development. That sounds view. brilliant. Is that available for all members of the public as well? Yeah, that will be available on the, on the Council's website, um, and uh, anybody will be able to go and have a look at that. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, James. Okay, no Cheers. problem.